Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is a speed and RAM management comparison between the Nokia 5.1 Plus aka the X5 and Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. This video is based on request. Let's take a look at all the relevant specs for this test and start with the boot up test. The Redmi Note 7 booted up first in 28 seconds with the Nokia X5 coming in 3 seconds later. I closed all the running apps before this test. Let's begin with Twitter. Pretty much a draw. Instagram. X5 open Instagram faster. Facebook. Note 7 open Facebook faster. Snapchat. X5 open Snapchat faster. Play Store. X5 open Play Store faster. YouTube. X5 open YouTube faster. Geekbench. Pretty much a draw. We have a higher single core score on the Note 7 and a slightly higher multi core score on the Nokia X5. Antutu benchmarks. Pretty much a draw. We get higher Antutu scores on the Redmi Note 7. Skipping the game's row for now. Snapseed. Note 7 open Snapseed faster. Camera. X5 open camera faster. Messages. Pretty much a draw. Settings. Note 7 open settings slightly faster. Speed test. Pretty much a draw. Tested both on the same network and we have higher download speeds on the X5 and higher upload speeds on the Note 7. Jumia app. Note 7 open Jumia app slightly faster. And now the RAM management test. Both kept Twitter in memory. Both kept Instagram in memory. Both kept Facebook in memory. Note 7 closed Snapchat. Note 7 closed Play Store. Note 7 closed YouTube. Both closed Geekbench. It appears that Geekbench has crashed on the Redmi Note 7 for some reason. Moving on, Nokia X5 closed Antutu benchmarks. Note 7 closed Snapseed. Note 7 closed the camera app. Note 7 closed messages. They both kept settings in memory both closed speed test and Jumia apps. And now let's test some games. Let's begin with Smash Hit. X5 open Smash Hit slightly faster. PUBG. X5 open PUBG faster. Subway Surf. X5 open Subway Surf faster. Tempo Run 2. X5 open Tempo Run 2 faster. Let's see if they both kept all four games running. Both closed Smash Hit. Both closed PUBG. Note 7 closed Subway Surf and they both kept Tempo Run 2 running in the background. Now this test isn't scientific but it's obvious that both of these have very similar speeds. While MIUI isn't as fluid as the Android one on the Nokia, it does pack features which I personally think every phone should have and having to download a third party app to do basic things like screen record might be a deal breaker for some. MIUI's RAM management isn't all that great and the 3GB RAM variant especially closes your apps in the background quite quickly in order to save battery. In terms of build quality, they may look alike on the outside but the Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the Redmi Note 7's display and back makes it a hell of a lot more durable. I'll be leaving a link to my knife scratch test in the description box for those who are yet to see it. Also the screen of the Redmi Note 7 is bigger with a higher Full HD Plus display pushing more pixels per inch. The notch is smaller which leaves more screen real estate for your media consumption. The Redmi Note 7 has the Nokia X5 bit in other ways like the inclusion of an IR blaster, a notification LED, support for MTN 4G, a gradient color option, etc. You already know that I get great battery life on both of these from my full review which I'll also be leaving in the description box. Do leave a comment if you'd like to see a camera comparison between the two or the Redmi Note 7 and any other phone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to. Please subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.